Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Ifat bin Abdul Wahab from BSM 1801. As for my choice of Global Kasum, I will be creating a documentary video on the pusat sejarah Brunei and Lapau Lama. Thank you. Historical Brunei Center is a government department under the Ministry of Youth, Culture and Sports. It was established on 26 January 1982 with the consent of His Majesty the Sultan and the King of Brunei Darussalam. The temporary office is located in the Library Hall building, Jalan Elizabeth II at Bandar Seri Begawan. Then, the permanent building was built in the area of the former Brunei Education Office building on Stony Street in 1987 and the official were launched in 1988. Among the purpose of establishing the Brunei History Center is to research and compile the lineup of the royal family and the history of researching and compiling the history of dignitaries and famous people in country of Brunei Darussalam and services and install some of the facilities provided on the library. Brunei History Center is a new office established in early 1982. Following the proclamation of the independence of Brunei Darussalam on 1st January 1984, after His Majesty Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah Mu'izzuddin wa Daulah declared the ministerial system, this office was placed under the list department in the Ministry of Youth, Culture and Sports. The new building has already been erected for this office located in the area of the former Brunei Education Office building opposite to the Treasury Office. It was completed and operational in 1985. In addition to research conducted privately by the Brunei History Center, several projects are also carried out with other departments and within that, it also shows the family trees that has been showcased inside the building of historical center Brunei from the oldest sultan until the latest. At present, a research project on the flag of national flag Begawan Sultan Haji Sir Muda Omar Ali Saifuddin writing a short note about Brunei Darussalam Merdeka. The brief history of Sultan Brunei follows something or a certain period from time to time based on the needs and interests of Brunei Darussalam, the self-determining again independent. The journals that were placed was used for a debate as well as for discussing to have an improvement and make bright futures of Brunei Darussalam history. During that time, the purpose was used for fixing of the wrong beliefs or deviations which are making of true facts actually. Moving on to Lapau Lama. Lapau Lama Diraja was built on 1950, which are located sites at Jalan Piers of Bandar Seri Begawan. Lapau Lama Diraja, in overall, from its concept of the designs, are made of concrete. On the 1st April 1953, Almarhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin proposed the constitutional proposal to the Legislative Council. The rooms that are being shown was for all the different members of War Created Constitution Gallery with same places of seats and same structure concepts without changes that remains the same as from the old times.
On 13 May 1953, where the appointment of Constitutional Investigation Committee or the Constitutional Advisory Committee known as the Tujo Serangkai. The seven men Constitution Advisory Committee were members who is responsible for making the 1959 book Constitution. This building were usually used for offices of religious affair and courts. In addition, it was used as a meeting place for members of the royalty government and state councils and was used as a place to sign and promulgate the Brunei Constitution on 29 September 1959. Within of the advisory committee of Almarhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin waved farewell before he and members of the state of Brunei Constitution Committee departed to London, United Kingdom on 14 March 1959. In this old building, a historic event also took place, namely on May 3, 1951. This is where the late Almarhum, His Majesty the Sultan, Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Sa'adul Khairi Waddin Sultan and the 28th King of Brunei Darussalam were called as Sultan.